Welcome to another video for learning the use of SMAS Studio for engineering calculations and scientific calculations. We're going to get started here um, presenting the interface, entry formats, and field descriptions for SMAS Studio, beginning with this SMAS Studio file. The menus are presented up atop. Here's your file menu, edit menu, view menu, insert menu, calculation menu, tools menu, pages menu, and a help menu. We're going to discuss them in a lot of detail. Then we have the toolbar right here, which has something like 24 different icons. We're also going to present them in uh, other videos. And then to the right of our interface, we have these panels which um, allows you to use operations with arithmetic, matrices, Boolean, functions, plot, programming, and symbols. In using SMAS Studio, we present two basic formats for entering information. The first one is the text. And to enter text, all you have to do is click somewhere in the worksheet where it's empty and press the double quote and then start typing. For example, say this is uh, an assignment for my physics class. It's just some text. Uh, text, once you have entered text, if you click outside and select the box, you can do control B like, to produce um, the uh, the bold characters. If you do control uh, control B again, it will return back to the regular character. If we do control I, it d does it in italics. Control I will return back to the normal. And if you do control U, you get undersign. Now this undersign has an extra space there that we could eliminate to make it a little more elegant. You can also select and do control B to combine bold with undersign or I'm um, sorry underlined uh, or control E to combine the three of them. So you can do that with uh, the text entry and the text entry is used to document your your um, file as I did over here in this presentation. Now, if you want to do the math entry, that is the default entry. You just have to click somewhere in there and start typing. For example, you could say something like 2 plus 3 times. And then we go to the panel here and look for the square root, square root of 5. And suppose that I want to do this in numerator. Do the space bar divided by, let's say, 3 plus. I'm going to use now this n root, that uh, symbol right here, about to give me like the cubic root of 18, for example. And so that's a complex mathematical expression, a little bit complex. And that can be used to produce calculations. As I mentioned, uh, the um, bar here produces a fraction. That's what I use to produce this fraction. If I click inside and press the equal sign, then SMAS Studio is going to give me a numerical result. Now I'm going to click inside here and select dragging the mouse this expression, do control C to copy. I'm gonna click out here, do control V equal. Okay, that's the same result as before. Now we're gonna do right to the right of this placeholder, do backspace again. And now I'm gonna use the arrow which is the symbolic evolution or control dot. And that basically did um basically nothing because the expression right here is already as evaluated as it could be symbolically. If we if we were to have like for example, instead of this five, we change to a twenty-five, and doing the symbolic evaluation, we uh, it remains the same. So th be careful with the symbolic evaluation. It just simplifies your result as much as possible. I was expecting it will give me the um, five because that's the square root of twenty-five, but it didn't work in that way. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the difference between the numerical evaluation and the symbolic evaluation. Regarding field description, 
I enter over here a field. A field is just like a segment of the interface where you have text or uh, an expression. You could, if you select it and do a right click over it, no, actually it only works with the mathematical functions. So if you go here and select this one and do a right click, there is a uh, option here that says show description. What this does, it creates a field right here at the top where you can type an a, a information that will stick to the field, for example. This is just uh, another calculation. Okay, so, and whenever you move that, it will move, that, that label will move with the field. So this is used to uh, label a field with uh, what I call field description. Uh, re regarding the bottom bar that we're going to discuss in more detail, uh, the important characteristic here is this zoom option right here to show you that I'm going to reduce this size a little bit. And when you click over that, uh, actually when you hover over that, you get the zoom option. And if you click on it, then you can see that you can increase the size by 25% or reduce it by 25% to your liking. Let's go back to 100%, which is the standard value. And I have some exercises for you here. To enter text, click on the point where you want to start and type double quote followed by the text. Example in the space below, immediately below, type that statement so you go click, double quote, my first att attempt at text in this math studio. And then say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some spaces here by pressing enter. I'm going to select this box, do control C to copy. I'm going to here and do control V or edit, edit paste and then select it control I or italics, control V for bold, control U for underline, and then in the toolbar, there is a way to change the size of the text by changing the number here, for example, 20, which produces a field, a text field that's pretty big, and so we can move it around to fit it in the page. Then enter a numerical uh, calculation expression here as an exercise, 5 plus, just following, the entries indicated there, 1 plus SQRT, that's the square root, parenthesis 3, divided by 2 plus sign parenthesis P control G over 3. This P control G gives us, give us pi, and if you put the equal sign here, it gives you the result of that expression. Let me try something else here. I'm going to do control copy, control V to paste, and I'm going to do control dot to use the evaluate symbolically, and what I get is this expression that involves square roots. That's a symbolic expression for this result. With that, we conclude this particular video as I get started in presenting the interface, entry formats, field descriptions, and a couple of exercises.